I thought the communication with Scott Stubbs was really good. Beth Flanagan wasn't the only person that we interviewed. That gave us uh, three different plans to look at. The one plan that we really liked was more of a curved design. We thought it was innovative. And we also liked to see all the landscaping that we were going to have. All right, so we're starting a new project today. The first thing we're going to do is throw a service walk in this area. The customer has a moderate sized patio. Unfortunately, it has a very large step that makes a lot of this patio space unusable. A seat wall for the sake of having a seat wall. We're going to pull all this out. We're going to give them a two layer patio with a walkway that is going to be much more functional. Look at little Scotty go. You wouldn't think that a guy that went to university for landscape design would want to spend all of his time digging holes with the guys, but he loves it and we can't get him to sit still in the office. In combination with an owner at the helm and a crew that's been here for over a decade, our production time and quality is unmatched. Once excavation is done, we start with 3 inch stone to fortify our base. Yesterday was a great day. How could it not be when you're working with the best crew in the business? You can see the path is laid in. Guys are working on prepping for the wall over there. Doug's back here marking out the whole layout. Fire pit's going to be right here. Bar area across there. Upper level here. Step down to the lower level. Seats on the back side of the bar. This spiral design, mimicking the Fibonacci sequence, was a much more complicated layout than your average patio. We enjoy having Doug around because he has such a passion for creating unique designs. But I can tell you that little Scotty was getting frustrated, trying to make everything perfect and conform to a spiral design that doesn't have one exact center point, along with some very unique angles that you don't cut just every day. <laughs> At one point, he threatened to have Doug's creative license revoked. Even though constructing this installation was more difficult to build in the real world than it was on paper with a pen, this crew definitely has the skills to rise to the occasion. Working alongside and watching these three boys become men over the last 10 years has been an enjoyable and rewarding experience. They have learned so much since they started. Alex may still be a young one, but I would confidently put him up against the most experienced veteran any day of the week. And of course, their dad Jose is an industry MVP. I wake up in the morning excited to work with this crew. We got an electrician over there hooking up electrical. We got a plumber hooking up the gas over there. Our guys are grading the dirt over there. We're gonna get all the dirt work done. We're gonna get the plants in. We're gonna get this thing prepped for side. Little Scotty is on every job from start to finish to make sure no detail is missed. Now you see why we've been doing so much wheelbarrow work. This little machine is useful in the back, the big machines in the front, but getting them in and out is not easy. Outdoor 
outdoor kitchens and fire pits are definitely huge property upgrades, but it's the plants that really make these spaces inviting, comfortable and engaging, especially when the planting design is well thought out with plenty of seasonal interest. Study for Russian for the work. I like the fact that the crew stays on the job to get done. It makes you feel like you're the focus and the goal is to get it done right. Got most of the patio down. We're working on some cats on some walls, finishing up the walkway, a little bit of grading, mulch inside. And this project, it's a wrap. Polymeric sand is swept over the patio, compacted in, and watered down to create a solid joint that prevents weeds and strengthens the patio. Sod is the magic eraser of the construction site. We really enjoyed working on this project and with this client. I was confident that it was going to look good in the end. I had Gus over to kind of just take a look at it. And one of the things that they comment about is while we have different seating groups, there's still one sort of focal point at the fire pit and everybody is sort of engaged. And that's, that's the other kind of neat thing about this particular design. Well, there it is, another showstopper. If you want to see something like this in your yard, give us at Scott Flanagan Landscape a call. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel.